يوسف قدم لنا نفسك وقول لنا قصتك مع السكر احنا عارفين ان انت قضيت اغلب حياتك في كندا لكن انت طبعا مصري واحنا عارفين ان انت بتعتز بان انت مصري فقدم لنا نفسك وقول لنا قصتك طبعا طبعا اسمي يوسف الماني لاوي وجالي السكر لما كنت خمس سنين للأسف أنا أتكلم بالإنجليزي دلوقتي عشان عربي عندي خفيف شوية. Uh, so ever, ever since I, I got diabetes, I, um, I never really let it sort of uh, dictate how I wanted to live my life. It never really was something I saw as a barrier or, or any kind of limitation, I guess. Uh, it was just something that I had. It was just an, an extra responsibility to deal with. And in fact, actually, it was a I kind of I embraced it as a big part of my uh, identity. At you know, at growing up at school, I, I would have all my friends gather around me, and I would have my sort of blood test, where we would guess my blood sugar level, and then we would play a game where whoever was closest would win a candy bar, for example. Uh, you know, and I would, and we just made it. It was a sort of a fun game, and uh, I would always just I was always outgoing. I was playing soccer and volleyball and hockey and. Uh, I never really let diabetes get in the way uh, at all. And, and most recently, I just finally um, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, which was a huge, huge challenge for me, uh, especially having to deal with my diabetes on the mountain. But I'm proud to say I did it without any uh, major issue. So uh, to everyone out there with diabetes, I just want to say don't let, it, uh, don't let it be a barrier. You know, Live your life how you want, and don't let other people think less of you uh, because of it. يوسف yeah. الأطفال لما بيجي لهم سكر بيبقى mm-hmm. أول سؤال لما بيجوا للدكتور بتاعهم mm-hmm. من الأهل بيسألوا طب إحنا هناخد علاج بالإنسولين mm-hmm. هل الإنسولين ده هيبقى علاجنا طول الوقت ولا هناخد بعد كده أقراص دي بتبقى يمكن مشكلة بالنسبة للعيلة اللي عندها حد عنده سكر mm-hmm. فعايزك تقدم يعني يعني مسج لل... للعيلة اللي عندها طفل م-م. عنده سكر آه على العلاج بالإنسولين على التحليل وأهميته آه على ال... طريقة الأكل لأن برضو بيبقى في بعض م-م. يعني فاميليز تقول طب م-م. هو احنا هنحرم أطفالنا من السكريات م-م. أو الحلويات آه... إيه الرسالة اللي انت تقدر تقولها لها you don't have to change the way that you're eating that much i would say it's it's more about controlling what you eat rather than than what you eat specifically so you can have you know cake and ice cream and all that and that, and that's fine but it's important that you know you you know how much sugar you're taking in and you know how to take enough insulin to to control for that but you don't have to stop yourself from eating anything specifically as long as you're responsible and uh, and you make sure to be careful with with your diabetes then you can eat and live your life however you want i would say اهميه yeah. التحليل <laughs> blood glucose analysis or yeah. self yeah. monitoring of blood glucose يعني ان انت تنصح بايه الشباب والاطفال اللي عندهم سكر هل يحللوا كتير او لا لان دي برده بتبقى نقطه مهمه قوي ان احنا نقول لهم ان هو لازم يحلل بشكل مستمر عشان ده بيساعده ان هو يعمل كنترول على البلاد جلوكوز عنده. So is it, yeah. is it important <laughs> that uh, children or uh, young people with type 1 diabetes mm-hmm. make, make regular blood glucose testing by yeah. the home glucometer or not? Is it important? Yeah, yeah. I think it's important. Yeah, you know, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. Using the blood glucose testing regularly is very important. You You have to always know what your sugar levels are because if you let it get out of control, you might start feeling a bit sick and uh, you know, it can affect your mood, it can affect uh, your energy level. So it's always good to keep that under control. Uh, and as long as you keep it under control, again, it, it, it won't stop you from doing anything you want to do, whether that's sports or school or, or anything else. انت قلت ان انت لعبت رياضات كتير sports. واخر تجربة لي كانت قريب وانت طلعت على جبل كاليمنجارو 
وانت يعني خاصيت مصر بان انت تطلع مع علم مصر وهنشوف الصور بعد الفيديو <تصفيق> وكمان خاصيت الجمعيه عندنا الجمعيه العربيه لدراسه امراض السكر والميتابوليزم عربيك اسوشيشن فور ستادي اوف دايبيتس اند ميتابوليزم ان انت اهدتها جزء من الرحله بتاعتك وصورت بعالم مصر وبعالم الجمعيه. ايه التشالنجز اللي كانت في خلال الرحله بتاعتك وايه اللي خلاك تعمل الرحله دي؟ لان طبعا دي حاجه كانت يعني يمكن مغامره فيعني ات واز تشالنج فايه الدافع ليك ان انت تعملها؟ وايه الابستكلز يعني او عوائق اللي حصلت مع الانسولين مع جهاز التحليل؟ Uh, so the main reason that uh, that really motivated me originally to do it, honestly, I have to I owe it to to my dad. Actually, he was the <laughs> the one who who was pushing me, and and he and he would tell me, you know, he said this is is something huge that you can do, and you know, you've lived your whole life, you haven't let your diabetes stop you, and and this would you know be the ultimate proof that it's not uh, it's not a real barrier uh, to accomplishing your dream. So I, I really owe it to him more than anyone, I think, for. Uh, for challenging me to to really take on Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, and while while I was on the mountain itself, um, what I the the challenges that I faced with my uh, with my diabetes specifically was uh, I would because we we had these really long you know we'd have these eight hour hikes, uh, and every every so often we'd have to stop for uh, these short breaks where we'd have to take a lot of sugar and carbs in in order to to keep our energy levels up. So my blood glucose would you know, would go down very quickly because of all the exercise and go up again from <laughs> all the sugar I was taking. And so my, uh, uh, I have, I have this, this graph sort of of my blood sugar level and it almost looks like the mountain peaks themselves just going up and down and up and down. And so trying to sort of keep it stable was, was definitely a big challenge, but uh, it never became problematic enough that I ever had to, you know, stop or, or felt like giving up at all. Uh, I would say just uh, just finding the the mental willpower just to hike was probably harder than than keeping my sugar levels under control. الشباب المصري وال young diabetics اللي هم عندهم سكر من الشباب ومن الأطفال اللي لسه طالعين التجربة بتاعتك حبيت تديهم سبورت إن هم يقدروا يعيشوا حياتهم طبيعي يقدروا يمارسوا الرياضة بشكل طبيعي. طبعا هي احنا طبعا بنشكرك جدا على المبادره دي منك لان كل اسره مصريه وكل طفل كل شاب مصري عنده سكر بيبقى محتاج دعم معنوي ومحتاج ان هو يعرف ان هو يقدر يعيش حياته بشكل طبيعي ويقدر يمارس رياضه ازاي يقدر يمارس رياضه ازاي يقدر يظبط الاكل ويظبط الانسولين بتاعه وان هو يقدر يبقى شخص طبيعي جدا وبالعكس مش كل شخص طبيعي بيطلع جبل او بيعمل رياضات فيها يعني محتاجه نوع من ال من القوه البدنيه وايضا الاصرار والتحدي على ان انت عملت اتشيفمنت زي كده فاحنا طبعا بنشكرك بنتمنى منك ان انت يعني تعمل فيديوز كل ما تقدر تقدم فيها مسج للشباب المصري انا عايزه اقول مش بس الشباب المصري اللي عنده دايابيتس لا ممكن يبقى شباب مصري عنده حاجات تانية تشالنجز تانية عنده تحديات في حياته عنده نوع تاني من يعني هنقول اي مرض مصاحب هو عايش بيه فان هم يشوفوا ان في شاب مصري زيك قدر يعمل اتشيفمنت احنا عايزين نسميك تشامبيون اوف اوف يونج ليدرز فور ديابيتس وبنفتخر بيك وبنشكرك وعايزين الفيديوهات تبقى دايما ان شاء الله في استمرار احنا بنستاذنك كمان ان احنا يعني هننشر الفيديوهات دي ودي تبقى حاجه كويسه انت بتقدمها للشباب المصري والشباب العربي وكنا عايزين نقدم لك باسم زملائي في مجلس اداره الجمعيه بنقدم لك الدرع بتاع الجمعيه عشان بنقول لك ميرسي وبنقول لك انت عملت حاجه كويسه للشباب المصري كله فميرسي واحنا ان شاء الله نشوفك قريب في مصر ونعمل معاك انترفيوز ثانيه ان شاء الله ان شاء الله ان شاء الله ميرسي يوسف ميرسي يوسف ميرسي